What I want to show you today is this little bowl that I'm making. Uh, it's a fresh one still on the lathe. What we have here is maple, mahogany, maple, and leopard wood, and then maple again. Now there's another layer that you can only see on the inside that's more uh, mahogany. Here's a strip that I cut it from. And you can see the laminations uh, on the bowl as the orientation is. It's, this is the outside, that's the inside. So this clear, clearly doesn't have the finish on it yet. And that's what I want to show you is the striking uh, reveal, if you want to call it that, when I do put the finish on. So I'm going to uh, set the camera up. So you can watch, and then we're going to put the finish on. I think the first coat, I'm going to use a uh, shellac, and that's going to uh, work as a sealant for the subsequent coats that I'll put on after, which will probably be uh, either a tongue oil or a poly. I'm not decided yet. So let's get on with it. Okay, we're ready to go. I stirred up the shellac really well, and we're going to do the inside first. I'm just using a throwaway brush, nothing fancy or special here. And looking pretty good. Doing the inside first, and a uh, pretty generous coat, but uh, of course, as always, you watch out for any kind of runs. Now, when I'm done with this, I'm going to reposition you, and uh, we'll do the outside. I just want to make sure this is done and that we don't have any uh, runs in it. Being the first cord, of course, uh, particularly with the mahogany, uh, between the fast drying of the shellac and the wood being uh, ready to soak it in, uh, pretty safe about runs if you're just a little bit careful. Okay, I'm going to reposition you now and we'll do the outside. And here we're ready to go on the outside. And this is uh, easy to just kind of spin it by hand. And you can see how those colors really pop out of those different woods. I got a little bit of a undercut rim here. Now I like to uh, put the finish on, particularly like a shellac, something hard that'll cure up nice, before I cut it off of the face plate. Because I'm going to uh, grip it on the outside rim to turn the foot. And the finish helps protect the wood. So I won't be going all the way to the final coat while it's still on the face plate. This is just really to protect it and get it ready for next steps. And then after I've finished the foot, I'll go ahead and uh, put my final coats of whatever finish I choose for. Anyway, I just wanted you to get to observe that and uh, see the process. I got a little piece of uh, brush bristle on there but of course that's all correctable because this is just first coat and uh, that's it thanks for watching